For in-class activity two, we're going to design a lag compensator. So recall we had steps one through eight to design a compensator. Steps one through five were for designing the lead compensator. And step one plus steps six through eight will be used to design the lag compensator. Since there is some overlap, the first thing I'm going to do is to refresh your memory about what we did for step one. For step one, we had to design for zeta equal to 0 0.707 or an angle of 45 degrees. So we needed to have the poles at negative two plus or minus J2 and we determined that K equals eight would give us that value. So K, GP of S, H of S is equal to eight over S times s plus four. And now we're ready to move on to step six. Step six is to find the steady state error for this lead compensated system. So we're going to have kv, which is equal to the limit as s goes to zero of s times eight over s times s plus four. So KV equals two, and the steady state error is equal to one over KV, which equals one half. And now step seven. For step seven, we are going to cascade our compensator with our open loop gain. So we're gonna have KGC of S, GP of S, H of S, which equals eight times S plus Z lag over S plus P lag times one over S times S plus four. So now we know that we want to improve the steady state error by a factor of 10. So that means that our new steady state error should be 0 0.05 or KV prime is equal to 20. So now we calculate KV prime for our compensated system and we get eight times Z lag over P lag time, times four, which equals two Z lag over P lag. And at this point, we need to pick a value. So I'm going to let P lag equal 0 0.1, which yields a Z lag of one. Here's a MATLAB comparison of the two systems we just designed. The first one is the original uncompensated uncompen system with a step response and a settling time of around two seconds. Next, we have the lead compensated system where the poles have now been moved out to negative four plus or minus J4. And the first thing to notice is that the settling time has indeed been improved. And finally, we have the lag compensated system and notice that the steady state error is now at one but the settling time is actually a little bit worse. You should also notice that with the lag compensated system, if you take a look at the root locus, there is actually no way on this root locus to get zeta equal to 0 0.707. The best you're going to get is about 0.537. So you're going to have to design another lead or lag compensator in order to compensate for that to get the zeta equal to 0 0.707.